Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of SAP Logs. This is part of a video series about SAP Maintenance Planner. Today we are going to discuss about the first part, which is what is Maintenance Planner and how is it going to replace Maintenance Optimizer. In the upcoming parts, I am planning to show a lot of demos regarding how to create dependencies, how to create system tracks, how to create XML file for new SAP system installations using Maintenance Planner and how to create XML file for Fiori installation and uh, most importantly what are the prerequisites required in order to make sure that you have up-to-date information of your SAP landscape available in SAP Service Marketplace. Now let's get into the session what is SAP Maintenance Planner and how is it going to replace Maintenance Optimizer. This is today's agenda, a brief introduction to Maintenance Planner Maintenance Planner's advantages, process flow, how Maintenance Planner works with Solution Manager 7.1 and how does it work with 7.2 and its roadmap. So the first topic, brief introduction to Maintenance Planner. Maintenance Planner is a next generation tool hosted by SAP in the cloud, which will help you to plan and maintain your SAP landscape. Previously we used to use or even until now you might be using Maintenance Optimizer in order to plan the upgrades but uh, going forward Maintenance Planner will replace not just Maintenance Optimizer but also a few other tools such as Landscape Planner and Upgrade Dependency Analyzer. If you don't know already Maintenance Optimizer which is part of Solution Manager 7.1 is not supported anymore by SAP. In order to access this maintenance planner, you require an S user ID associated to your organization. When we talk about maintenance planner, people assume that this is another software which has to be downloaded from service marketplace and installed on a separate server or something like that. But that's not the case. As mentioned previously, it is hosted in the cloud by SAP and you just require an S user ID in order to access this tool. Maintenance Planner has got UI5 based user experience, which means it's easy and very pleasant to use, unlike Maintenance Optimizer, which is clumsy and can get a bit complex to use sometimes. So basically in a nutshell, Maintenance Planner is a new tool which can help to maintain your SAP landscape and it also simplifies and consolidates a lot of complex tasks into one. Let's see how it does that in the upcoming slides. Now let's talk about what are some of the advantages of Maintenance Planner, starting with creating dependencies. So in the current scenario, you use Product System Editor in the LMDB to create dependencies, where you have to group technical systems and assign them to a product system to get a valid landscape data. It is actually a complex process where things can go wrong, because if you assign wrong technical systems to a product system, then you might face a lot of issues while planning an upgrade for that particular system. Whereas with the Maintenance Planner, the whole process has been simplified a lot. Here you can create dependencies in a modeling environment, which is easy and pretty straightforward. As you can see from the screenshot, I have created a dependency between an ABAP system and a Java system, just using the modeling environment without involving the complexities of technical systems and product systems. The advantage of this scenario is that the dependencies created by any member of the team is easily understood by anyone in the organization due to the pictorial representation. Another advantage is working with system tracks. If you are used to Maintenance Optimizer, you would know that Maintenance Optimizer focuses on one system at a time. For example, in your ERP landscape, you might uh, have multiple systems such as development, test, pre-prod and prod. And if you have to upgrade the whole ECC landscape, then you have to create a transaction for each and every system and download separate XML file for them individually, which is both time consuming and can also lead to inconsistencies. But with Maintenance Planner, there is a feature called System Tracks, where you can create a virtual track for a particular landscape and add the systems associated to that particular landscape to that virtual track. This way you will have to create only one transaction and generate one XML file in order to upgrade all the systems associated to the track that one particular XML file will include the metadata required to upgrade all those systems. For example, as you can see from the screenshot, 
I've created a track called ERP track for the ERP systems and I've added the ERP development, ERP test and ERP production to that particular track. This feature helps to eradicate inconsistencies between the systems and make sure that all the systems in that particular landscape are on the same support pack stack level. Product verification. In the current scenario, just like creating dependencies, we use product system editor in the LMDB to verify product systems in our landscape so that we can use maintenance optimizer to generate stack XML file for that particular system. Without verifying a product system, you won't be able to generate XML file for that particular system and a maintenance optimizer doesn't have the capability to verify product systems itself. Whereas maintenance planner has the feature built in to verify product systems. So you don't have to use multiple systems in order to do, uh, in order to perform these features. You just need to use maintenance planner to do this going forward. So in a nutshell, as mentioned previously, it simplifies and consolidates a lot of complex activities into one. So we don't have to use multiple tools such as LMDB in order to create dependencies or verify product systems, maintenance optimizer to create stack XML to upgrade your um, SAP systems, landscape planner or upgrade dependency analyzer. The features available in all these different tools are integrated into a single tool and available as part of maintenance planner. Now let's have a look at the process flow of how maintenance planner work. As discussed, we use maintenance planner to maintain dependencies, verify landscape, create system tracks, and then generate stack XML file for upgrade. We then use the stack XML file either with software provisioning manager to install a new system or with the software update manager to upgrade an already existing SAP system in your landscape. Once the system has been installed or upgraded, it is registered in the SLD, then in the LMDB, which is part of Solution Manager, and then to the customer profile, which is located in the service marketplace from where Maintenance Planner will fetch the required data. A lot of other tools such as Innovation Discovery and uh, SAP Engagement and Service Delivery Work Center in Solution Manager uses information from the customer profile. So it's very important to make sure that the latest data is uploaded from Solution Manager to the customer profile. Okay, here let's talk about how Maintenance Planner works with Solution Manager 7.1. Even if you are using Solution Manager 7.1, you can still make use of Maintenance Planner to maintain your SAP landscape. All the dependencies created using LMDB will still be applicable However, if you are using CHARM, which is Change Request Management and Scope and Effort Analyzer as part of Solution Manager 7.1, then you will still need Product System Data and Maintenance Optimizer because Product System Data is used to create logical components, which is used for CHARM, and uh, Product System Data is used by Maintenance Optimizer as well as Scope and Effort Analyzer. So in a nutshell, if you are using Solution Manager 7.1, you can make use of both Maintenance Optimizer and Maintenance Planner. Maintenance Planner to upgrade your systems and Maintenance Optimizer for Scope and Effort Analyzer. Maintenance Planner with Solution Manager 7.2. So in the 7.2 system, product system data is no longer required as well as mobs will be discontinued. So you don't have any other option apart from using Maintenance Planner. Technical system data will be used to create both logical components for CHARM as well as technical scenario for technical monitoring. And Scope and Effort Analyzer will start using Maintenance Planner transactions instead of Maintenance Optimizer. Okay, Roadmap. As you might know, Solution Manager 7.2 has been available for general use for a while now. The latest is the support pack 4 and I believe support pack 5 is about to be released in May. And solution manager 7.1 will go out of maintenance in December 2017. So please plan accordingly and make sure you either upgrade or implement a new solution manager 7.2 as per your organization's requirements. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you all liked it. Just to reiterate, I'm planning a video series about Maintenance Planner, so please make sure to watch all the parts. 
Thanks.